look at me You assume I am easily definable You put me in a box You want me to be your designable But there's luminescence to me Hello, um, it's Wednesday and this is today's video Sorry about the awkward intro, um I can't decide on sort of like a thing to open my video with because you know a lot of YouTubers have like a thing um, so you're just gonna get a really weird intro every time so anyway today's video is I'm just gonna be talking about my favorite youtubers that I like and why I like them I've got a plan for next video but I haven't really got a plan for this video um, so I was like hmm what should I do and I was like yeah this doesn't sounds like a good topic for today so the YouTubers I like the most. One of them is Mikey from Glam and Gore. She is, um, she's basically this makeup channel and she does sort of nice glamorous looks with makeup but also sort of like SFX and like scary stuff and like gory stuff. Like she'll do sort of like, she did this series on Disney princesses where she would turn herself into a Disney princess and then do like a gore twist on them, like for example she did one where she was Snow White and because Snow White eats the poisoned apple she made the episode 6 Snow White so she did like vomit going down here and stuff like that. It's really kind of gross but it was, re but it was really interesting and she also did a video where she was Barbie having plastic surgery and she sort of like did pre-op Barbie and then post-op where she had all like the bruising and all the scarring from the plastic surgery and stuff like that and she's going out with Anthony Padilla who's another YouTuber that I, that I like he does all those I spent a day with so and so and stuff and they're all really good and he is also the hottest guy on YouTube he is gorgeous and um Mikey is also just so adorable like she's so kind of little and quaint and cute like the thing that she says when she starts her videos is hello zombies I can actually impersonate that youtuber Mikey yeah she's so sweet I also really like it's Keisha I've been watching quite a lot of her videos recently they're really good um She's been doing a lot of videos on the whole Jeffree Star situation. I'm not even going to go into that since it's just a whole load of mess at the moment. And um, she just does a lot of commentary videos and she's also an, inc also, she's an incredibly talented musician. She um, has released this absolutely amazing song called Freak. I really suggest you go and listen to it. It's so good. Her music name is Keisha Sade. And she sort of gave me the idea to have my... Um, my music as the intro song for the videos so like if you hear I've got iridescent at the beginning she has freak at the beginning and I just found that to be a really good idea and one really funny thing she did recently was she talked about how talked about people's apology for racism videos on YouTube and she what she reacted to Laura Lee's video and she did this really funny impression of her whimpering it really amused me and um she actually liked the comments I wrote about about her whimpering I thought I'd crack me up so much and anyway I also really like Luke Alexander he's a friend of it's Keisha and he also does sort of commentary stuff he's really good and also Sathya Nagard and she's another 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 sort of makeup youtuber she does kind of really cool experiments with makeup and just sort of like she does sort of like she will do things like she'll mix together all her lipsticks or mix together all her eyeshadows and it's really cool and really interesting and um she sort of like has it's actually led her to come out with a with a collaboration with the brand Colourpop um I'm wearing Colourpop today I have on the I've done my eyes with the let me just grab it the Elsa palette from Colourpop, not sponsored, um, yeah I used it today, anyway, yeah she's done an actual kind of collaboration of Colourpop from her video where she would mix all the colour, all the lipsticks together and make one lipstick and she kind of based her lipsticks off that and it, it was really cool, she's like got one that was from the miscellaneous colours that was blue and a sort of sharky blue colour and she called it Brucey like the character in Finding Nemo that was really cool and she sort of reminds me of my old singing teacher like um my old singing teacher was American and she would um she sort of says things like all right and stuff and like just sort of like her mannerisms and stuff remind me of my old singing teacher I just found that really cool and um 
sorry, I, like I said, I don't script these videos anymore. I used to when I started out on YouTube, but it just looked really cold and really weird and really kind of like rehearsed, which I didn't like. And so I want to appear more sort of naturalistic because I kind of like that more. And I also really like Ellen O'Neill. She's a true crime YouTuber, but like, I'm sort of tied on the ethics of true crime videos, but um, just the way she does it is so respectful. She even has like a disclaimer at the beginning saying that she doesn't mean any res disrespect to anyone. And it's just really lovely and she's always really sensitive. She always warns you when when she's coming up to a disturbing bit in the crime, whenever her crimes have anything to do with children or anything. She's just really sensitive and stuff. And yeah, and, um, sh yeah, and I, yeah, I really like her. And... Um, is there any others I want to talk about? Oh yes, and I really like one YouTuber called Dominic Noble. He does this series called Lost in Adaptation, where he compares films and the books that they were based on, and um, he's just probably the most British guy I've ever seen. He's so kind of like, I almost wonder, is he as posh and British in real life as he is in his videos. I don't know if he like tries to sound more British or not. Sorry if that offends you Dominic if you ever watch this video. Um, but yeah, um, my friends are all quite into him and um, he covered Fifty Shades of Grey. Did He did the Fifty Shades of Grey books and like he cannot stand them. He has to like dedicate certain videos to explaining how messed up they are and stuff which I really like and I have to admit his rage about Fifty Shades of Grey is really kind of theatrical and quite entertaining to watch and quite cathartic and um because he would do Fifty Shades of Grey and then he'd say oh I'm not covering the next ones but then he would say if I get this number of retweets I'll cover the next book and every single time it would go to that number of treats and he would have to cover the next book and so he would just like act really kind of like he would just open the video like are you happy now? And just seem really angry. Like, I can understand why, but um, I just found that really funny. And um, he's done quite a few other books, like, um, like he did sort of like the Harry Potter ones, but he recently did, made another video disclaiming how he's sort of like not into Harry Potter anymore after the not too nice things we've all been finding out about JK Rowling recently. Another, vi another YouTuber who I really reckon you should check out is somebody who I actually know in real life. This is Matilda Andrews, Tilly. She's um, been doing several videos and um, she's done like a video about her daily routine and a video about sort of environmental stuff. And um, she only really started recently, but um, her videos are really good. I really recommend you check her out as well as also I'm going to add in, sorry, this has been a short video, but I'm going to add in a slight shameless promotion to oh sorry i try and do these videos so like spontaneously as possible but i keep forgetting people and i keep just remembering stuff i really hope you like this kind of really silly casual sort of sort of like theme because i feel like this is more me like the way i was doing before really wasn't me and i really want to be real and stuff um so another youtuber i remember is called Annie Nova, she's really good. Um, she does all these story time videos and occasional commentary and sometimes makeup videos. And she did this really funny makeup video called My Hus I killed my rich older husband and now I'm trying to get away with it and like she was just taking us through the makeup tutorial like you're going to put on the foundation because you're wanting to cover everything including your husband's dead corpse and just really funny stuff like that like and then putting on this highlighter in case you need to blind someone because you're running from the police or stuff like that and um she just made it really fun and stuff and so anyway now I am finished so um I really sort of like um so sort of like um another Shameless bit of self promotion. Please um, like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video, and share it with all your friends. And um, also follow me on Instagram at Alexis Gray Music, and like my Facebook page, which is just called Alexis Gray. And um, check out my single um, Iridescent and the promotional single Diva too, and buy them, stream them whatever on iTunes and stuff and um sorry this has been a really short video but I didn't really I could I couldn't really decide on anything else to say I um will probably have a much better video on Sunday and much later okay so bye